Hi, and welcome to Pollywog Lagoon. Today, we're going to be finishing up part three of Disney Pixar, Cars 3, The Essential Guide. We have Smokey, Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, and Jackson Storm here with us. And they're going to help us open up these surprise eggs, and we're going to get started. And don't forget, guys, if you like watching our videos, please hit the red subscribe button so you can see more fun to come super soon. Now, it's surprise egg opening time. Yay! Okay, Jackson Storm, which egg are we going to open first? The yellow or the purple? Oh, Jackson has picked the purple surprise egg. All right, what might be inside this huge purple surprise egg? Oh, my goodness. It's Miss Fritter, the Demolition Derby Master. It's Fritter time. She is ready. Watch out, guys. And it's Taco. Taco, you are dirty, and he is ready for demolition. And APB, how you doing, APB? Welcome to the rest of the crew. Okay, Taco and APB, are you guys ready to open the yellow egg? Oh yeah, they're ready. Here we have the yellow egg. And it's Donico Cruz Ramirez. Look at that nice flashy blue, number 51, with the dinosaur on the side. And I love those killer wheels. As well as Cruz Ramirez Dinoco coat. Look at his dino. Number 95. All right, guys. Now that we've opened up both of the surprise eggs, it's time to read Cars 3 The Essential Guide. Yay! Here we have Disney Pixar Cars 3 The Essential Guide. Fun facts, cool characters, and amazing locations. We've already read pretty much the first half of this book. And those are in previous videos. We are now on Thunder Hollow. Crazy contest. Lightning and Cruz accidentally find themselves competing in the Demolition Derby. They are totally unprepared for all the mayhem. Can they keep their cool and survive the Thunder Hollow Crazy 8? Explosions mark the start of the race. Noisy, excited spectators. Look at all those cars cheering them on. Figure of eight, track shape. It goes around and then it goes back around over here. Rough riders. The only things rougher than the crazy eight track are the racers. These bashed up, smashed up vehicles get bumped, bent, dented, and nearly demolished every single week. Have you heard? Any vehicle can be a guest in a demolition derby. Dr. Damage blasts his ambulance sirens as he charges around the track. See Dr. Damage right here? Whoa. Thunder Hollow Crazy 8. The Demolition Derby racers rush around the figure 8 speedway, ramming into each other until there is only one vehicle left. The last car standing is declared the winner. Thunder Hollow. Thunder Hollow Speedway is a rustic piston cup dirt track, but once a week it transforms into the maddest Demolition Derby in America. The Crazy 8. Competitors should expect crashed cars, crushed trucks, and seriously dangerous driving. Oh boy, it would take one tough cookie to handle that. You better be ready to be smashed and thrashed. Miss Fritter. Hey, Miss Fritter. Miss Fritter is the fiercest and most feared competitor in the Thunder Hollow Crazy 8 Demolition Derby. Every week, Battered Bus slams her rivals out of the race. She is determined to dent her way to victory. The pile of plates. Miss Fritter loves to hang the license plates of her victims on her side. These trophies terrify the other cars, who wonder whether their plates will be next. Oh my goodness, look at all those victims. Oof, she has horn-shaped smokestacks. That right there. Your license plate's gonna look real nice in my collection, says Miss Fritter. She has the license plate trophies right here. Serious dents from years of smashing and crashing, and heavy chains hold her hood down. Fritter time. Anyone attending the demolition derby will hear Miss Fritter's army of rowdy fans. They love to chant, it's Fritter time, whenever she is winning. Fritter fears. Miss Fritter will give you the jitters. With her sharp pointed smokestacks and even sharper insults, she intimidates all who race against her. She has a spinning razor sharp stop sign. Yeah. Look at that thing. Even that thing means serious business. True or false, Miss Fritter is known as the Supreme Queen of Crashes. False, her nickname is the Diva of Demolition. 
Miss Fritter, top speed, as fast as is needed to scare rivals. Occupation, professional demolition derby racer. Vehicle type, Lower Belleville County Unified School District bus. Can you imagine if that was your school bus? That could be pretty cool. Nobody would mess with you. Thomasville. Thomasville Speedway was Doc Hudson's home track where the racing legend became famous. The top racers of the day once competed here. The Speedway is now deserted and in disrepair, but there is still something special about it. A little inspiration. Thomasville may be a rundown and ramshackle, but its powerful history fuels Lightning's imagination. Could a visit there help him focus on his training? Still standing, Thomasville was a once a state-of-the-art stadium. It hasn't been used for many years, but the track is still intact and the grandstand is still standing. Have you heard? There is a bar near the speedway called the Cotter Pen. Some retired racers still meet there. Back on the track, when Lightning races on the old track, he feels like Doc is with him. Connecting with his old mentor gives Lightning the inspiration he needs to keep going. Home of a legend. In its heyday, Thomasville was known as the home of the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Fans would travel from far away just to get a glimpse of their hero in action. Number 51. Lights and billboards still line the track. Grandstand and announcer box right here. Outbuildings and garages. The infield is overgrown. Look at all those plants. Cruz is speeding around the track. So is Lightning McQueen. Smokey. Smokey is famous in racing circles for discovering the Hudson Hornet. An amazing crew chief and mentor, Smokey turned a rookie into a true champion. These days, Smokey is retired from racing, but he has a lifetime of wisdom to pass on to others. Legendary friends, Smokey hangs out with his racing buddies from the old days at the Cotter Pen. He is happy to take Lightning McQueen and Cruz to meet them. He is a 1946 Hudson pickup truck. He has a brown paint finish. Smokey's got a garage logo, automotive service, Thomasville. Outspoken Smokey. Straight talking Smokey always speaks his mind. He may sound grumpy, but somewhere under that gruff exterior, he has a softer, caring side. Smokey has a kind smile. Proud Mentor. Smokey shows Lightning letters from Doc Hudson. They show how much Doc loved being McQueen's coach. This gives Lightning a new perspective on his old friend. Right here. Aww. Top Speed. It's about wits, not speed. Occupation. Garage owner, semi-retired crew chief. Vehicle type, 1946 Hudson pickup truck and a specialty, years of racing wisdom. Smokey lives a quiet country life, but his garage is still in Thomasville, the place where he made his name. Smokey loves his hometown and has lived there for many years. Funny what a racer can do when he's not overthinking things. That's Smokey. True or false, when Lightning shows up at Thomasville, Smokey has no idea who he is. False, Doc Hudson told Smokey all about Lightning. The Legends. In the 1950s, a generation of pioneering racers like the Hudson Hornet emerged, making it a magical time for the sport. Each of these legends has some incredible stories to tell, and they are happy to share them with the track stars of today. Have you heard? Old rules of racing meant that Lewis Nash had to steal her first number just to get on the track. Lewis Nash, race number 94, engine power 125 HP, vehicle type 1950 Nash Ambassador. Once we got on the track, we didn't want to leave, says Lewis Nash. Two-tone paint is still immaculate. Lewis keeps herself in top condition. Number 94, classic white wall tires. Louise Barnstormer Nash was the first female to make it big in Piston Cup racing, as well as beating old-fashioned attitudes. She beat most of the other racers, too. Junior Moon, race number 11. Engine power, 100 HP. Vehicle type, 1940 Ford Standard Coupe. Steel bodywork and headlights that he doesn't use under a full moon. Junior Midnight Moon took a shine to racing through the woods at night then turned to the track full-time. These days, Junior is more senior, but his unique spirit and winning spark have never waned. River Scott. River Scott is one of the great battlers of racing. He rose from humble beginnings to the dizzy heights of the Piston Cup. His racing style was never graceful, each win earning him a few dents on the way. Proudly worn dents. Oversized dirt track tires. River Scott. Race number 34. Engine power 95 HP. Vehicle type, late 1930s dirt track racer. Training with Smokey. When Smokey comes out of retirement to coach Lightning McQueen, he uses old school training methods, tried and tested over the years. No simulators allowed. Can Doc Hudson's old crew chief return Lightning McQueen to his winning ways? Have you heard? As part of his training program, Smokey arranges for bales of hay to be thrown at Lightning. Woohoo! Watch out! Jackson 2.0. With a little bodywork, Smokey makes crews look like Jackson Storm. 
Having a sparring partner helps Lightning to focus on beating his rival. This gal works. I'm becoming Jackson Storm, so Lightning McQueen can train better. Wits to win. Smokey reminds Lightning about Doc Hudson's approach. If you can't outrun your rival, you have to outthink them. Speed isn't always the answer. Moo maneuver. Smokey allows Lightning and Cruz to get caught right in the middle of a stampede of tractors. It's great practice for learning to maneuver around competitors. Trailer training. Smokey makes Lightning pull a trailer with the legends on board for extra weight. This helps Lightning to practice controlling torque instead of just horsepower and to avoid his wheels spinning. Driving in the dark. Lightning must learn to trust his own instincts. Smokey believes that driving at night without any lights on is a great way for Lightning to get his confidence back. And learning from legends. Doc's old friends, the legends, have years of racing experience cutting to the chase. Their very direct advice guides and pushes Lightning to succeed. No simulator needed here. Wits, driving in the dark, learning from the legends, trailer training, and moo maneuver. Florida International Super Speedway. Ask racing fans what their favorite stadium is, and many will say the Florida International Super Speedway. The colossal size, awesome architecture, and breathtaking beachside location delivers a carnival of atmosphere to accompany the action on the track. Beach View. If you don't have tickets to the big race, you can still watch it on a large screen on the beach. The smart locals say that it's the perfect place to watch the Florida 500. That's where I'd go. Right here, they're watching it on the screen. The stadium is packed for the Florida 500. Here's a pit road. Have you heard the stadium can hold approximately a quarter of a million spectators? Florida 500. Each year, the Florida 500 is one of the Piston Cup's most eagerly awaited races. This year, it's extra special. It's the opening race of the season and Lightning McQueen's unexpected comeback. Exterior made from glass and aluminum. Look at that cool shape. It's the pits. The stadium's trackside pit row is where the racers change tires, stop for repairs, or grab a drink. Each team of pitties must be lightning fast so that the racers get back out quickly. And boats watch from the harbor. Very cool. That would be pretty amazing to go to that big of a stadium to watch a race. Fast friends. Lightning and Cruz may have had a rocky start, but as they train and learn together, a mutual respect and great friendship forms. Cruz turns from fan to friend, while Lightning goes from trainee to trainer. Have you heard watching Lightning's success on TV inspired Cruz to become a racer? These two have such an amazing friendship now. They learn so much from each other and benefit each other in many ways. Fireball Beach. At Fireball Beach, Lightning must show his trainer how to navigate through the sand. There's a lot that Cruz can learn from her so-called senior project. Role reversal. It was Cruz's job to get Lightning back on the track. But as Lightning learns of Cruz's talent, he realizes she could be an amazing racer. Perhaps it's her turn to shine, not his. Crazy 8. Lightning and Cruz's craziest adventure is competing in the Demolition Derby. Relying on each other to survive the race unscathed helps cement their friendship. Ups and downs. All friendships have ups and downs. Cruz storms off while Lightning says she doesn't think like a racer. But the argument brings out the truth about her early dreams to race. Star pupil. Along the way, Lightning begins to see Cruz's potential. By the time that he shows her some driving tricks, like drifting, at Thomasville, he realizes what a quick learner she is. Okay. We still have several pages left, and we can finish this up in another video. We had such a great time going over the essential guide with you all and opening up surprise eggs. If you want to see more fun to come, we'll be posting another video with the finishing up of the essential guide soon. Bye-bye for now.